Good morning, everyone. My name is Vero with Vero's Crochet Adventures, and um, I'm excited. Okay, so last year, um, I didn't do too much. Actually, I, I, w I did a little bit, but I didn't do too much uh, Hobby Lobby clearance shopping. What I did do is that I would go to different stores looking for yarn, for my friend CJ, but for whatever reason, um, the store that's like two blocks away from my house, not literally two blocks away, but it's about a two to three minute drive from here, which is Hobby Lobby, right? And I went last year so many times and there was nothing on those racks that was on sale. And every time I would go and I would ask this lady that worked there, she would get angry with me and she would tell me, we don't have anything. I don't have any place. We don't have any help. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you'll see it when I put it out. And I was like, okay. And every day or whenever I would go and check, I would tell my friend, hey, they don't have anything here yet. And I started driving around to different ones and I couldn't find as much stuff as how you guys were posting. And this year, I saw the Yarn Geek post something and I think... Uh, I don't remember who else it was, but I know the Yarn Geek was one of them. And someone else before her posted something and said, hey, it's going on. I just found it. And I was like, oh, Lord. And I didn't tell anybody. I don't even tell myself, oh, I'm never going to buy yarn again. What I will tell myself is, you know what? You have a ton of stuff and you need to make more stuff so you can buy more stuff. <laughs> but I don't tell myself. I mean, every once in a while, I'll say, okay, I don't need to buy that anymore. I'm done. Guys, I'm sorry about that. Andrew's on vacation. That means I'm on vacation, sort of. And you guys are going to hear them playing. They're excited. He doesn't have to go to school. Sorry about that. I should have filmed this earlier. And also, I bought a microphone. Actually, I have like three professional microphones now. <laughs> and guess what? Because I have a new iPad, my microphones are not working with... Um, that's Andrew. They're not working with this iPad, so I need to buy the other little thingy in the bobber, the little stringy to connect to the microphone so I can be able to speak to you guys and maybe you guys will hear me better, hear me better. Okay, so back to this video. If you guys are in a hurry, if you guys are in a hurry, if you just wanna hurry up and see stuff or whatever, or you could fast forward it to whatever you want to fast forward if you want to, but I'm not going to be in a hurry to rush this and try and turn this into a 20 minute video. I can't, even if I wanted to, I can't. I will try, um, give me a second. Okay, I just asked the kids if they would please pipe it down a little bit. I don't know if that's going to prompt them to get louder or what, but <clears throat> here I go. Grab a cup of coffee, a cup of joe, a cup of tea, or something because I have some stuff to show you. I have been watching a lot of uh, the Hobby Lobby clearance yarn hauls, and I've seen almost the same of, of you know, the same thing. Every, all of us are getting the same thing. But I was looking for other stuff, and I know you guys know what I'm looking for. Um, and, uh, they had uh, when I walked in, I was looking for thread, you know, for the artiste thread last year, those were like 37 cents or something like that. And I love those, I love those. I didn't see any of those at Hobby Lobby here. Uh, so when I did go to the Hobby Lobby here two days ago, uh, Monday, Monday, they had the yarn on sale and it was on the racks the way it always is. It, they just had little red stickers and I hadn't seen that ever <laughs> because I didn't see them like that last year. I don't think they were in, the, no, they were in the back in the little bin. That's where the lady was putting them in, whatever she was putting on, uh, on sale. So I found the yarn and I walked in there and I was like, my intention was not to buy any yarn from this clearance because I have been buying so much stuff from like webs and uh, uh, several other websites, you know, and, and I've been buying like merino wools and cottons and Pima cottons, etc. Like that's what I've been dabbling with. I 
am making a conscious effort to whittle down as much of the acrylics and polyesters and stuff that I have, but I don't have a problem using a cotton blend or a wool blend or something like, like that for the right uh, occasion, I guess, here in Texas. You know, like sometimes it does get kind of chilly and nippy and I want to start making those little cute uh, crop top sweaters for all these cute little girls. So I am looking for some yarns that are like, I don't know, I'm trying not to find stuff that just appeals to me. And it's a little bit difficult, like, because I'm trying to think, I, I keep thinking, what are the younger girls going to like? What are the ladies going to like? If I go and sell my stuff in, at the beach, you know, what colors should I start using, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm, that's where I am at when I buy yarn and I'm buying threads and stuff. I'm trying to think for everyone else, right? And it's a little bit difficult because I tell you what, at the store, when somebody shows up and I have all this stuff there, they're going to tell me, oh man, I really wish you had that one thing that I haven't made. <laughs> and then if I try to go back and say, okay, I'm gonna start making a bunch of those, somebody else comes and tells me something else. So I have a notebook with uh, suggestions, you know, like a little wish, like a wish list type of book of something that they would like to see at the store. Back to Hobby Lobby, I went and I was like, you weren't going to buy any of this stuff. So focus and go in there with a purpose and consciously purchase stuff that you want to get. Because I know me. I go in there and I start seeing stuff that I hate, you know, or not hate. I don't hate yarn. I don't hate any yarn that I don't like or I'm not gravitated towards to. And I'll see it. And if it has a sticker on there and it says that it's $1.99 because it was $10 before, I'm like, ah, I have to take it all. All of it. What if one day I like this yarn, I want to make a blanket, and I really start to like that color, and then it's $9.99. So I have to take it all. That's the way I think a lot of times. So I went in there, and I had to uh, calm myself down because I was so excited. There was nobody there. I thought I was going to be fighting people, elbowing, and I thought I was going to have to start doing some mosh pit moves, you know? <laughs> and uh, no. There's no one there. So I walked in there and I saw the, uh, so I went, <laughs> I shopped. So I shopped for myself. And that day I got a huge bag of stuff, right? Because I told myself, buy stuff that you know you're going to use and you're going to make stuff with. And you know, people, I mean, that we can wear here, you know, in this uh, sauna called Texas. Um, and so I spent $98 the first day, which I was so happy and so proud of myself because I got silk, bamboo, <laughs> cotton, uh, uh, just some cute stuff. And then after that, I left and I was thinking, man, there was some stuff that I've been eyeballing for the past year and a half and I've been wanting it and I've just been holding myself back, holding myself back because it was expensive. It was like $8.99 for one skein. Mind you, it has a lot of yards. But I still was like, it's eight ninety nine, right? What to do when you're a baller on a, a yarn baller on a budget? But I was proud and I was so happy and I just felt like I had so much. So I called CJ and I was like, guess what I found? We have yarn. This is after she has already told me that she has already purchased multiple. Like the first day she went, she told me she bought three carts full of yarn. Then she bought some again. Then she asked her daughter, who lives in another little city in Michigan, uh, to go to that Hobby Lobby and see what they had. Then she went to another one. Then yesterday she called me and she spent, you know, not spent. We're not talking about spending. We're talking about uh, acquiring. We're talking about more, not less. So she told me that she went to Michael's and they have a sale there because they have all their cotton yarns on sale. And they're $3 instead of the $5.99 when they're normally, what, $9.99 or something like that. And she's like, everything, Vero, everything. And in my mind, I was like, thinking, all the stuff that I want to make. And I could, right? I'm not going to Michael's. Um, so I went back to Hobby Lobby yesterday morning. Everybody was asleep. I had been up since like 6, I think, or 5 or something like that in the morning. 
And I was waiting for people, to, like waiting for the sun to come up. And then when the sun comes up, I still can't call anyone because it's so early in the morning. So I was like, you know what, self, let's go to a different Hobby Lobby and see what they have there. So I went to that Hobby Lobby and guess what? First of all, it's empty. Well, not empty, empty, right? The employees are there and there's a couple of people there. And then I walked to the yarn aisle and they had the yarn on sale there too. So I went and bought some more stuff. And then that yesterday, I did throw in some stuff that I was like, oh, do I really want it? But then I was like, I don't want to not take it. So I just, the stuff that I really felt like maybe I could hold off on that, I just got like one or enough, barely enough to make one project or something and put it at the store. So after... 13 minutes of all this chatty patty <laughs> stuff. It almost sounds like a justification as to why I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to show you. But I did call CJ and tell her, look, about all this yarn. And I have a bunch of other bags. I don't even know what's in those bags anymore because I haven't opened them because I was waiting to do a video so I could do an unboxing. But then sometimes, or most of the time, I feel like I kind of like... Oh my God, look what I got. But everybody does it, right? This is for fun. I don't know. I feel weird sometimes. I think I overthink stuff, you know, etc. But let me show you guys. So then CJ said, hey, Vero, what did they have? And I told her, oh, they had that ice cream yarn from Lion Brand. And they had, she told me she wanted this. I told, I had already purchased that. I, I knew I was that when I heard, when I knew that the clearance was coming up, I knew that the first thing I was going to run to was this one yarn that I've been wanting for years because it's so beautiful and soft and, and it's the mimosa. But anywho, she was like, I want the mimosa now and I want this and check and see if you have it there. So I went yarn shopping for her yesterday afternoon on my way to the store to put some wallpaper up so I can make a wall real pretty or decent so I can hang up all the display, all the older grown folk stuff that we've been making. Anywho. Let me show you what I've got from Hobby Lobby thus far. And this is why I said grab a coffee, grab a cup, grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea, and let's see what we got. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> that's it. This is, that's not mine. Oops, sorry. That one's not mine. That, that one's not mine, but... I think those two are CJ's, and there's another one that are CJ. But the rest of those, oops, uh, the rest of those, that, that, and that is mine. This is CJ's. This is CJ's, and there's another bag behind there. That's hers too. Do you guys know how much fun it is to go to Hobby Lobby, at least for me, it was, for someone else and they have you on FaceTime and you're looking at all this yarn that you love to touch anyway and they're just telling you, just, just grab all those, just grab them and dump them in the cart and then all those too. Oh yeah, I want all of those in, in that area and, and I was like, do you want me to count? No, just, just throw them in and I'm like, fine. So I was like... I'm throwing them all in and I'm filling up this cart. And so um, she said, oh, no, yeah, I want to get this one too. And I want to get that and I want to get this. So I'm going to guys, I'm going to guys show, I'm going to show you guys the stuff I bought Monday and the stuff I bought yesterday. And then I'll show you guys what CJ got. And let me tell you why it's so much fun buying stuff for someone else, because you get to go and you get that feeling that you get, you know, when you're putting all the stuff in the cart, except you don't even think about stuff anymore. Like, you're not like, should I get it? You know, because what if, right? Or should I not get it? I really don't need it. You don't think about any of that stuff. You just grab it and throw it in there because someone's already told you to grab it all and throw it in there. So I'm grabbing it in there and I'm laughing and I'm feeling like, oh my God, all this yarn. And guess what? I get to go pay for it. And then minutes later, you look in your account and then boop, the money's back in there. <laughs> That's the best feeling ever. Also, I know that some of you may say, well, you're not gonna get to use it or anything like that. 
Well, how many of you guys honestly have used your yarn? Like as far as all of the stuff that you've bought last year and the year before and the year before and the year before, you, probably, you guys probably still have all of that stuff there because we go, we buy yarn and we have all these projects in mind. I'm not saying everyone, but a lot of us do. We have all these projects in our head, right? In our mind. And then we buy the yarn and then it sits there. And then we're watching a video tutorial. We're watching YouTube and we're crocheting something. And I'm like, oh my God. And let's say I'm working on this. And I'm like, I'll, I'll work on this later. And I start working on this. And all of a sudden I have like 30 projects going on, right? Whew. How many of us really get to use all of the yarn? So I was thinking, to me, it feels like I just went yarn shopping and it's going to sit here until she can pick it up because I know she's not going to want me to mail it to her. And so I was like, it feels like I just bought it and it's just going to sit there. And if it's gone, like in the bag, the way it is, I'm not going to miss it because I still have yarn. It's that feeling. Feels good. Thank you, CJ. I needed that therapy yesterday, that shopping therapy without the guilt. Okay, so here we go with my uh, yarn haul. Let's see what I got. I don't think it's a little bit different, but not too much. Let me know. Okay. For the stuff that I have already seen everyone or a lot, a lot of us ladies or a lot of you ladies open or show and stuff. I'm not going to go over the yardage and all that stuff. I'll show you guys the price and the color and the, and the thing. And I'm going to st stick them back in the bag and then that's it. It all begins at home. Okay, I don't know how to do that right now, so I will help you when I'm finished, okay? Thank you. I'm the IT person here. I am the chef here. I am the maid here. I'm the babysitter, the nanny, the mom. And the referee. Okay, so this is for my first yarn haul. No, this is for my second one. So I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna guys show you what is wrong with me. I keep talking backwards. I used to mix the first letters. What I used to do before, I used to speak so fast, or I used to think faster than I could speak. So I used to mix the first letters of two words, like the first two letters of the words, and I would mix them and put them on the other words. So for example, one day my ex passed by the house and his tire was flat, and I was like, hey. Uh, your tear needs ire. <laughs> my cousin does that too. And my kids were doing that too. And the funny thing is that we understand what we're saying when we talk. Okay, my first yarn haul. I was so excited. I was so happy. Oh my gosh, this is it. And they gave it to me in a Christmas bag. Because it felt like Christmas. They knew it. Okay, oh, and that same day I went to the Dollar Tree and look, I found pink and turquoise cotton yarn. I, had, I don't have any of that in my Dollar Tree <laughs> cotton collection. I'm making a blanket out of this cotton too. I want to see how that cotton stuff shows up. But anywho, first and foremost, what am I going to do? Okay, here we go. This, I got these, the baby bee. This right here, I'm gonna put my glasses on, they're dirty too. 340 yards, $1.37 acrylic polyamide and rayon. And it is so soft. And I am going to make like a little beady newborn blanket out of this. Ta-da! That's what I got, I got four. Then I got some ice cream yarn and I only got two in, in the colors because I'm going to either make a little like a little hoodie sweater or a little sweater and a beanie or something like that for little babies right so I'm, I got that that orange one <laughs> I got the orange one <laughs> I was gonna say that orange one I don't know what the color is this is strawberry I got two of these I got two blue ones this is at that store two blues oh that was all they had there. That was it. More cotton in the Dollar Tree that I need to put away. So that's that. Then I got uh, these yarn beads. Did I get any more? 
I did. I put them up already. I had already put them up. I got some of the Yarn Bee, the Rhapsody something. I'll show you guys. Well, you know, but I got like four of those. That's all they had. But I got these and these, you know, a dollar forty nine and I got four in the same color. Same exact color because I'm thinking about making um probably like a little baby sweater or something. I think I got four. Oh see these are oh I did get two of these colors. See? This is the Rhapsody. I got I got it in uh this slate divine. I got it in that yellow mustardy color and I got one with the blue that transitions to white in the center or light blue. Did I get four of these? I probably just got three. I only see three here. Maybe I just got three. Then I got these. I got I think I got like two of these. These are a dollar thirty seven. They're so cheap. And they're so soft. Oh my god, they're soft. So I got two yellows, right? And these have what? This is Sweet Divinity Amber Waves. This is a... Uh, how much does this have? 243. So 500 yards, right? Or almost 500. 243. So I got that color. I got this color. I got three blushes. Oh, I was thinking something for a baby. I got three of those. And I got these two. I know I keep saying I don't like purple, but this is a lilac color. It's not purple. And it's so pretty. I got two of those. And then I put, I had already put them up because I have a little nook. Oh my God, my eyes hurt when I'm looking at everything. I bought, I have that little nook full of the, uh, the, uh, that merino wool blend yarn, that hand dyed stuff. And I got this, 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 these are the ones that I got the stickers and I didn't have these. I got this and this. And this, I got these. And this one. They're all laying like this. I'm thinking about what to do or how to do it so I could put them, so I could see them, like actually see them all out. And then there, they just had these two colors. These were $1.49. This is what I've been, this is the, the yarn that I told myself, if I don't buy anything else, I am going to buy this brand. Mimosa. It is so soft. So, so soft. Um, this one is an ivory. It It is a... Uh, it's got 240 yards. 62% cotton. 38% rayon. And it is from bamboo. And it is so pretty. And so I got this color and I got this gray color. So I got, I think, four of each. Got these. <laughs> so that's what I got. That was my first one. And I know there was a few more things that were that were in here that I did not. I think I'm gonna end up caking these up. Look at how ugly that looks. And I'll tell you what, guys, I don't even know what to put where anymore. I'm gonna have to run by Walmart today and buy another shelf. And possibly put it underneath this one right here and go up because this one that I have right here is buckling up a bunch of yarn already fell okay so this is my first yarn haul the second one from yesterday morning oh my goodness was from a different store from a different Hobby Lobby Right. This is the second one from yesterday. I got more hand dyed yarn. This, this, this. So I got two of those and two of those. Oh. oh, man. Actually, I got four. That's what happened. See, these are the two I had gotten from the other store. Aren't these gorgeous? Oh, my God. So excited. Someone is texting me. 
Okay. Then, this is what I was telling you that I didn't know if I should buy it or not because I had already purchased about six of these when they were not on sale because I was making a shawl for, not a shawl, a poncho for my husband. They're originally $8.99. They were $2.24 and I was like, I really don't want to make it. I don't know what to make with them, but I was like, I can't pass it up. And they're so soft. Oh my God, they're soft. So I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna buy one in each color that I don't have, because the one I bought was a gray. And I should go back for that. I think I did get it, I don't know, maybe I didn't. And I figured, okay, even if I make one onesie, I mean a sweater or something like that for a little kid, I will. So I got those. And uh, I didn't know what to get anymore, because really, I, I'm not, I really didn't want, I, what I was looking for was the I love this cotton because like I've mentioned many times before, I am going to, like I know a lot of the patterns for Amigurumi's call for the acrylic or polyester or whatever and that's fine. I don't want to make them out of that. I want to make them out of cotton. All my Amigurumi's I want to make out of cotton, especially if they're going to go to little kids homes, you know, little babies. They stick stuff in their mouth, etc. And I know that cotton has dies as, as well but I just feel like it'd be a lot safer for a baby to be chewing on maybe cotton if they're gonna stick it in their mouth as opposed to something else I don't know right that's just my opinion that's it but and I love the way it looks so much better like the stitch just they look so cute they look so much prettier to me that's my opinion nobody else's okay so I got those and then like I said I didn't know anymore because I was there and I was like I really wasn't looking for anything in specific anymore but if I saw something I really liked I was going to get it what I do love I love these so much I love them and I'm going to use these to make like little dresses or tops either like uh, the Razorback muscle shirts for like uh, uh, ladies or something like that or a little dress for a little girl because this is a cotton blend it's 90% cotton and 10% polyester, even like a beach dress or something. But you know, a blouse, etc. I, I was thinking, um, I love shawls. But there's just so many shawls you can make and have in your house. I don't know, maybe somebody just loves all the shawls in the world. And I, I think they look gorgeous when you see them, but then I don't know what to do with them. You know, because the one or two or three shawls that I have, I wear them like, I've been wearing them like once or twice a year. Okay, so I got the wrap. Rapolo Rapology Hughes. These were also 224. But these have 524 yards and it's 90% cotton. And I got Eternal Indigo. I got two of these. I also got two um, in uh, Bittersweet. It's a pretty color. And I got two in, check me out, I don't like uh, purples, right? jewel dragonfly but other people like purple that's why i got it so here's the other one and there i'll find the other one right now the others that i did get because i didn't get any at the they didn't have these colors at the other store was that i got the cut the the ice cream cotton blend and i got two in these two in those i got oh here's another one Rainbow Rhapsody, Brilliant Blonde. These are the ones that I got. These are not those. And I had got, I got this one because I didn't think I had two of them. Now I have three. <laughs> okay. And I also got that, got it in a, it was a different bluish color. Sunday denim. So I'm going to make some little dresses or something. I'm think I don't know. We'll see. But I'm thinking about making this pat, making another dress with this pattern in either this color or this color. I haven't seen that one in a sol, uh, in in anything other than a sol solid color, and this is not real bad. So I feel like this would be cute. We'll see. So I got that. Here's the other color for that one. 
and there. These are the other ones I was thinking about. Like, I didn't know. I've been, I've been eyeballing these. I've had my eye on these for a year now, over a year. And I haven't gotten myself around to buy any because I didn't know what to make with them. But I've liked them so much. And I even love the names of them. But now I'm thinking, <clears throat> I bet you anything. I was like, with the 80s themes and stuff like that around, I would like to start making some little sweaters for little kids and stuff, even with the little pants, you know? But the sweater, I want to make those little baggy sweaters that, re in my mind, I'm thinking Swatch Watch. You remember how Swatch Watch had like the yellows and the greens and the blues and the purples and the hot pinks, etc. And then I remember like the times of those bikes when all the kids used to do the tricks on those BMX and mongoose bikes, etc. So I'm thinking that and I'm thinking color block, maybe triangle, square or something as like little baby sweaters, right? But um, so that's the reason why <laughs> I bought these bright A's. Bright AF colors. But they're so pretty and they're $8.99 originally. $8.99 and they're down to $2.24. And these actually, this is a frosty mint. It's so pretty. And this is 50% merino wool, 30% nylon, and 20% acrylic. I know it says it's a one super fine. There's 415 yards. So I got two in these, right? I got two in this blue. I may go back and get a couple more colors. And two in these pinks. I may. I'm not sure. The other... Oh, 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 oh. And as far as the ice cream one, they had that rainbow ice cream. And then they had this green one. But, um... So that's so cute. I didn't have that. And then the other thing that they did. That I got. Did they have any more colors in the ice cream? No, they didn't. So, what was the other thing that I said that I wanted to buy no matter what? If I didn't get anything else, I'd be happy if all I got was this. Mimosa. So I got this in the... Ooh, I have five. I thought I have four. Okay. This in the color... This is just blue. And, of course, you guys know that this is cotton and rayon. I'm thinking about making that butterfly dress in this color. I know I'll have enough now. So I have that color... And then I got this color as well, which is a turquoise. And I'm probably going to cake all these up. Look how they look. So I got those. And I also got them in this coral color. And these were $1.49. They didn't have any more there. And this is what CJ wanted me to get because she wanted to get some mimosa. So I think that I may go to another Hobby Lobby for her and check it out and see if they have any. She hasn't told me yes, but I may do it anyway and then call her and say, Psst, hey, guess what? They have mimosa over here. Do you want it? And I can guarantee you 10 out of 10 that she'll probably tell me yes. I don't even know why I use the word probably. I know she'll say yes. The other thing that I got... Oh, I thought I got more colors in this. Oh, I did. I did get more colors. I'll show you guys. I have more bags. <laughs> but I got the Fresco Fiber. And you guys have seen everybody use these. This is a size 3, 290 yards, 59% cotton, acrylic, and other fibers. This is the lilac color, not purple. So I got that. And... Da, 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 da. last but not least I don't know if this was a mistake I don't know if it wasn't I purchased it anyway I let them know and the lady let me purchase it they have these fresh havens there right and they have it like in this solid color almost solid and then they have it in like this marl, marbleized, marled, or something color. This one is called Your Blushing from Fresh Haven. See that? And this one's called Your Blushing. But 
it's like these were at the top and these were at the bottom now only two in the bunch that is not the marled or like the blended color it were two a dollar 49 and all of the other ones oh no it was three and guess what i didn't think that there was a difference i didn't think there was i was like oh okay whatever but guess what there is a difference these right here the fresh haven you're blushing the it's made the it's made with a hundred percent lyocell see that and these say a hundred percent tensile tensile They have the same amount of yards and stuff like that. I tell you, Lyocell is so soft. Super soft. Tinsel is too, but this is soft. So that's... And the other thing I got... I just... I got it in this color. I got this. I don't know. I'm thinking... These are so pretty. And so soft and bouncy. I think this is wool. Fierce flame. Go figure. 210 yards acrylic and polyester it's called for 3.5 millimeter uh needles and i also got that tinsel in this color or that co that yarn be fresh having jade twist see that's what it is it's like a twist type of thing and then the other ones don't so i was going to get the solid color in this as well and those were not on clearance those were not clearance out and these are normally 4.99 for $1.24. And then I left out on my way out. I saw this. And I was like, and I saw the price, and I was like, oh, I can't leave you behind. These were the only four that were there. I'm going to make a baby blanket with this. It's so cute. It's called Kitty. Sweet Delight Prince. So I'm gonna use that to make a baby blanket. And then That's what I got here. And the other thing that I got, they only had it in this one color. I wish they had other colors. Do you guys think they're gonna like add more stuff to the clearance? The bambooful and coral, I believe it is. Papaya. Ooh, papaya. It does look more like a papaya than coral. So they had three of these. And what I did get were the uh the blissful blended bliss i got two in each color so i got like the blue pink that pink that blush or whatever color i got these are the four colors I got. did i get gray no i got these i got two of these because i'm thinking i'm gonna make like either baby sweaters or whatever and the last thing I got was I got three of these in the denim, right? And then I got three of these in the uh, ocean breeze. So that's my bag. That's my bag. These are mine. Now, now I was thinking about it. Am I going to put this stuff away and put it up neatly somewhere? Or am I going to leave it in bags on the floor alongside with all the boxes that I have not unboxed to uh, take the yarn out? I need to make some more stuff and I need some of that yarn and I haven't been able to, not that I haven't been able to take it out, I just haven't grabbed it because it's not, you know, eyes view. Maybe one of these days I can be able to go live and you guys can show me what to do. I don't know, I'm running out of ideas, seriously. On the cool. I'm so happy to have all this yarn. So super happy. You guys can't even imagine how happy it is. This feels like you have so much. And you know what? That was the other thing I was getting at. When I see all this stuff in bags all over my yarn room, I feel like it's a craft room. You know, like, yes, all my yarn. I just want to throw myself, like, throw all the yarn on the floor and then throw myself in it.
So here I am, happy as a God knows what. I think I am going to go get the yellow one. Didn't get it. I don't know why I didn't get it. That was one of the colors I did want to get. This is mine. This is mine. And this is mine. Ugh. Okay. I spent $98 one day and I spent $137 yesterday and I don't feel that that was a bad deal for all of the stuff that I got. And uh, I would like to tell you guys that I'm done, that I'm not going to go back, etc., etc. We'll see. We will see. I was kind of thinking about taking this stuff to the store. What do you guys think? Now. Let's look at CJ stuff. <laughs> this is one bag. <laughs> this is another bag. <sighs> and this is another bag that she got. So, okay. She got a lot of this. The reason why it looks like she got, she got a lot of yarn. She got some stuff I didn't get. Like, she got all these dazzle, the dazzling ones, which I know they are pretty. They're beautiful, but I don't know what to make with them. Beanies, maybe? This is gorgeous. I love this color. I'm going to go back and buy this color. Aztec orange. Go figure why I would like it. Um, She got all the ice cream, all of the ice cream color. Whatever yarns they had left that was the ice cream blend, she got them all. Including this color. It's cute. It's pretty. <laughs> she got these. Let me show you all the dazzling ones that she got. Now she's making me want to go buy them. <gasps> CJ. This is so pretty. They're only $1.49. She gave me permission to show you guys this stuff. Like, I didn't just choose to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, throw this on here and do it on my own. But, I mean, this is the ice cream one. Did I get yellow? I don't know. Did I get purple? She got, well, I can't go back and get yellow or purple if I didn't get it because she got them all. So she got that. She got pink. She got the blues. I have blues and I have pink. I do know that. And I know I have greens. Did I get purple? Look what she got. Isn't this gorgeous? These are all the dazzling ones. This is a pretty color. CJ. All the ice cream. Oh my god, how many ice? Look at all the stuff she got. She got more dazzlings. I'm not going to count the ones that she got. I mean, she got them in all the colors. She got. Oh, yes. She asked me to get her two of each one of these colors. So she got two. Two, I don't know what this color is. Windstorm. She got two windstorms. She got two sand dollars. She got, what is this turquoise color? Pool. Wow, these are pretty. I didn't even pay attention to the colors or anything. She, I was just pointing and she's like, yep, that, grab it. Yep, that, grab it. Yep, that one too, grab it. She got then I 
I wish they would show how much um, stuff would have been without the discount and then how much it was with it. But how many did she get? Curious now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Hold on a second. So, the only thing that's dividing my son and I from the restroom is a door. And he hears me, and he decides that he wants to start talking to me while he's in the restroom using it. And I lost my count. I'm trying to see how many um, ice cream ones she got, and I missed the count. But she got this. She did get these colors, look. She got the same ones. She was saying that she wanted to get these as well. So she got them in, I believe, in all the colorways. She got two of each color. So she got Power Surge. Wait over there until I'm finished, okay? Thank you. She got the L is for Lemon. Aw. She got... She got, uh, she was asking for stuff in pairs, so she got this. She got it in the lilac color, of course. You know what color I didn't get that I should go back and get because they had a bunch of these? It was this one, Mountain Views. It is beautiful now that I'm looking at it. She got two of that, two of those as well. CJ, you're going to have to cake these things. Um... <clears throat> These are so pretty. I hadn't, actually, I didn't get any of this color. She already made a top for one of her granddaughters in this color. It is called Red Clay, and it is pretty. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. She got two of those, and then she got this one. That's real pretty as well. This one I did get, Coral Rodeo. And she also got the yellows. Oh my God, this is so soft. This is the other one that she got. And she also got the, the Blended Bliss. And I believe she asked for two of each. So she got two in these. This is a... I don't even know how to say it. Rougier. She got two of those. She got two of the green ones. I didn't get green. Green eyes. Oh. My mom has green eyes. She got two of those. She got two smokes. I don't think I got smoke. Did she get smoke? And she got two of these dove. Oh, so pretty. And uh, she got more of these. I'm telling you, these are going to hit. Watch. <laughs> now, Power Surge. And I think one of them is the watermelon. Neon watermelon. Lapis stone. So she did get she did get those in all the colors. Ooh, and then she got these colors too. This is pretty. This is called a berry purple. And it is. It is berry purple. <laughs> and these. Ooh, she got the green one, too. I don't think I got the I know I didn't get You guys saw what I got. I didn't get the green one. What color is this? Limelight. The other blue. Where's her receipt? There it is. Oh, okay.
more ice cream. She's got more ice cream. So the colors that you guys saw that she got as far as the ice cream ones, she, uh, it's the blue, the pink, the beige, the purples. She got it, the blend, Blended Bliss in this color, which is, what color is it? Chambray. She got these colors, which is, I think it's mango color or something. Orange, Orangeology. And, L is for lime. Lemon. L is for lemon. Duh. Okay. Hey, do you have more stuff in here? It's all her ice cream stuff. Then, she asked for this. One, this is from Yarn B. This is the Ombre Gold Dust. She asked for two of those. Like, sometimes she sounds like she's so frugal. Just give me two. Just give me two. That's it. Just want two of those. Then she's like, just grab all the stuff. Throw it in the thing. Get in the cart. And that, my friends was my mini itty bitty teeny weeny Hobby Lobby yarn haul. I hope you guys have a great day today because I am. I'm not going to put any of my stuff up. That's what I was saying. I don't think I'm going to put any of my stuff up anymore because when I see all this stuff in bags all over the floor, I feel like I don't need to go buy anymore. When I put everything away and it's up, put away neatly and then away from me and away from my where I could see it, you know, out of sight, out of mind. And now I'm thinking I have to go buy some more yarn. And so, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to leave it in bags for a while. You guys have an awesome Wednesday. I will, uh, oh, I'm going to put another video out later on about this dress, that pattern. I didn't come up with that pattern. I purchased it on Etsy. I'll let you guys know who it's from. And I made a big one and a little one using two different yarns. This is the one from Lion Brand. I forgot what it's called. And then this is the Mexican Sinfonia yarn. So I'll let you guys know what I think about this one as well. Have a great Wednesday.